Hi party animals, it is Holly Nicole George, AKA the Twister Sister. If you're new here and you don't know what the Twister Sister is all about, I made this name for myself by turning a passion and a hobby of mine into a successful business, and now I'm helping other people do the same thing. And my hobby was mainly balloon animals. So every week we do a free balloon animal tutorial, and this week, oh my goodness, you guys, we're doing Valentine's themed animals all this month through February and I don't know why but I always think of gorillas <laughs> for Valentine's Day if you go to Walmart at this time of year and go through their like stuffed animal Valentine's stuff there's a ton of monkeys and gorillas with like hearts and stuff and so I just always think um, gorillas are a Valentine thing so <laughs> today we are learning the cutest little Valentine gorilla so this design, the Gorilla by itself, only takes one 260 and two five inch rounds. So I've got uh, gray five inch rounds here with me. Um, if you don't have gray five inch rounds, and I don't even know why I have gray five inch rounds, but if you don't have these, you could change up the colors, get creative. You could do a red gorilla with pink rounds or even a brown and tan colored gorilla, more like a monkey, I guess. But uh, get creative. You don't have to use black and gray like I'm using today. Um, I just thought this would say gorilla more. So that's what I'll be using for this video. Okay, so I've got my black 260 and I've inflated it with about a two inch tail there at the end. And we're going to start off kind of how I make my line work monkey, um, which I don't think I've done a video on. So I might need to do that as well. <laughs> So we're just gonna make a small loop. So you're gonna fold your balloon over, grab the knot of your balloon and twist that around to make a loop. And we're gonna thread it through the middle of the loop so that this doesn't come undone. Okay, squeeze your balloon. You're gonna make a small bubble and this is going to turn into a pinch twist. So you're gonna twist it on itself like that. And then we're gonna do another loop the same size as this one. So squeeze your balloon out, fold it over, and twist. Now you wanna arrange these so your loops are both, both facing forward like this, and you've got the pinch twist in the back there, okay? Now at this point, we're gonna add in our first five inch round. So I've got two five inch rounds, <laughs> And um, I've blown one up a little bit bigger than the other one. So I'm gonna be using this smaller one. Uh, this is right about the size of my palm, maybe a little bit smaller. And once you've got it blown up, you're gonna squeeze it and you're gonna twist off a bubble here at the very front of your balloon. Let's see, about like that. So you kind of have like a snowman type thing. And you're gonna take the knot of this and we're gonna bring it down into that twist, wrap it around. That way we're getting a pinch twist on top and then a round um, part for the face, okay? And you should have your nozzle sticking out. We're gonna grab that nozzle and use it to attach right in between our two loops, which are the ears. So I'm just gonna take the nozzle and wrap it back around. And then come back forward again around the face and then tuck it back off in the back. You guys, you seen a monkey face? Isn't it cute? So now I'm going to grab my other five inch round, which I've inflated quite a bit bigger. It's definitely bigger than my palm, but just slightly. Okay. And we're going to take the nozzle on this guy and it's going to go underneath this balloon and it's actually going to twist up into um, that pinch twist in the back of the head. So we're just going to use the nozzle. To okay, so this is going to be like his tummy. This is sort of um, a <laughs> a big, cute, like a chibi gorilla. <laughs> I don't know if anyone anime people out there know what I'm talking about, but I used to love that stuff when I was little. Okay, so we're going to come down the back of our gorilla and just kind of make a twist sort of where our balloon hits the bottom of our five inch round. And we're going to do two pinch twists there. And those are going to be his hands or his feet. 
when I look at this, I think of it as hands. Okay, so those are going down there at the bottom. We're gonna kind of sandwich that five inch round. So, um, easiest way to do this is to really eyeball this, measure where this is gonna come back up into the neck, twist it off, and then twist it into a head. You just gotta be careful if you're working with black balloons, they tend to be a little bit stickier. Okay, and then just to make my life easier, I have wedged the five inch round in between those two bubbles that I just made. We've got our two pinch twists on the bottom. And we're gonna come back down again into the pinch twist with the rest of our balloon here. These are gonna be like his front arms, okay? And it'll look a little bit better when we can uh, position the five inch round more where we want it. But for now, we're just going to attach our balloon into the bottom like that. Now you don't want to leave it like that because this, this does not look right. So we're going to open up his arms and they're going to be sort of on either side of his big tummy. And just arrange the ears so the ears are kind of coming in front of the arms and you've got Gorilla Monkey. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> Okay, so we don't need the rest of this, so I'm going to get rid of it. Ooh, I'm going to wake up the baby. Okay, and I'm just going to wrap this around uh, once to secure it, but I like to keep this little tail sticking out for the next part, which you'll see. So we're making a Valentine's Gorilla, so you're going to need a red or pink or any Valentine color, <laughs> 260, and I've blended up all the way to the very end and I let out a little air before tying it off so it's a little bit squishy. All right, now if you haven't seen Michael Floyd's uh, How to Make a Heart Balloon video, you can go check that out if you wanna get some more like detailed instruction on how to do this because he explains it really well. Basically, you're going to twist the bottom two parts of your 260 together and then we're gonna shape this into a heart. And you're gonna find the middle point, bring it down, and then fold it up. Okay, so we've got a heart. And then we're gonna squeeze kind of both parts of those at the same time. And I think my heart might be a little bit bigger on one side. We'll see how it goes. Let's squeeze it some more. And really hearts are just, you get it to be a heart shape by massaging your balloon and squeezing it. Getting it to look sort of like a heart. <laughs> okay, now attach. We're going to attach our gorilla right here. Isn't that so cute, you guys? Oh my goodness, I can't even. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna take this tail that we've got sticking out from the bottom of our gorilla and we're going to wrap it into the bottom of our heart. I'm just gonna kind of figure eight it around these two little bubbles so that it is attached. Now your gorilla might be kind of like jumping away from the heart. Um, what I like to do, we're gonna wedge the bottom of this heart up like that into the bottom of gorilla. So just going to wedge it and that even helps the heart maintain a nice heart shape okay and then we'll look at your work see how it looks <laughs> i always forget to do that Ta -da! isn't that so cute you guys and then the artwork on this i just go simple ovals with eyebrows i'm gonna do two dots nostrils <laughs> something like that <laughs> okay and then you can leave him like this. Or you can draw little muscles on his chest, an L, and then you connect the other side there. So give him a little belly button. <laughs> okay. All right, so that is our super cute and really pretty fast uh, balloon gorilla. 
and we've turned it into a Valentine's guy by adding a heart. You could also make just the gorilla and attach it on top of a candy cup for another deliverable idea that you could post to your Facebook marketing groups and um, marketplace and try to get some sales this year for Valentine's Day. Um, if anyone is doing that, please let me know. Send me a message or some comments um, and I can give you some tips and we can kind of see how it's going for you. Um, and then you could also attach this whole thing on top of a wand. So that would be a really nice piece uh, for someone that they could carry around. You can even attach some of those fun uh, Valentine's cards that are free for the YouTube channel members this month. You can get your download over in the members area and you could attach this to his hands. It could be around his neck or you could even attach it onto the heart here. So you get those in the members area for the YouTube channel members quick note because we have some fun things that happened this week that I want to just make a quick announcement about a few things. So um, I just got back a couple days ago from the Florida Super Jam, which is a balloon twisting convention and get together. If you've never been to a balloon convention, this is a great one um, to be your first one maybe next year. It's fantastic for beginners. It's got a very family friendly environment. There's no like competitiveness or anything. It's just a bunch of people, really amazing people getting together and just sharing their love and knowledge. Um, and passion for balloon twisting for a few days in Florida. It's always in Orlando, which is this year, it was beautiful weather in the middle of January. It's kind of a nice break for a lot of the Northern folks to come on down to Orlando. Um, and we all had an amazing time. Now, I did teach a class there on my um, upcoming tutorial series, which is gonna be on cutie patooties. And if you weren't able to go to the convention or you were at the convention and you missed my class, um, I'm going to be filming everything that I did in the class, kind of like filming the class again here in my, ho my home. And that replay will be available for YouTube channel members this month. That's gonna be your big freebie for January. You're gonna get to see the class that I taught at Fort Florida Super Jam. I'm doing another class, uh, two classes at Capital Convention later in this month. And so for February, YouTube channel members are also going to get the replay of my Capital Convention class um, on the member, members only area of my YouTube channel. So definitely pays to be a YouTube channel member. Check it out. There's a link in the description of this video if you want to get more information and sign up. The other thing I wanted to do is give a big shout out to YouTube comedian Brandon who did a hilarious video twisting balloons, trying to make a balloon unicorn. So if you're brand new to balloon twisting, or if you still remember what it was like when you were just getting started, you're gonna be able to relate to this hilarious video that he did <laughs> trying to make a balloon unicorn as like his first balloon ever. <laughs> it was so funny. Um, and he was using some of my videos to uh, try to figure out how to do this and it's just really funny. So if you're looking for something to make you smile a little bit today, check out that video. Um, post the link in the description as well so you can click right to it and have a little laugh for today. Okay, so that's it for this week. Tutorial Tuesday is a wrap. I hope you guys liked this cute little gorilla. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Love to see your pictures on Facebook also, and I'll be doing the, um, I go live on Facebook every Tuesday night to do Tutorial Tuesday live and take questions and just kind of chit chat with my fans and that's always a fun time. So if you're not a fan of the Twister Sister page on Facebook, um, definitely go over there and just give my page a like and you'll get notified when I go live. Um, it's just once a week, so it's not spammy or anything like that. And we just have a fun time hanging out and making balloons. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I so, so appreciate your support and all the love that I always get from all of my fans and followers. You guys are the best community. I just never could imagine this journey that balloons would take me on. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. And I will see you all next week for another Tutorial Tuesday. Bye-bye.